Hey there friends, how's it going? This is David Potts with Song Notes, and I have a lesson today where I want to talk about strummy walkdowns in the key of A major. Now again, when we talk about a walkdown, what are we talking about? The quick summary is no matter what key you're playing in, a common trope on guitar is to sort of walk down. Walk down the scale, right? And sometimes you walk back up and everything, and we can add strumming in between those notes. So the key of C is a very common one, because you have your C, to G over B, to A minor, to G, to F. You know, a lot of those are very common chords, nothing too crazy going on, right? But you also might see it in the key of D. For example, we have this D to the A over C sharp, to our B minor, to our A major, to our G major, and back to our A. But you can also do it in the key of A, which is what I'm, I'm gonna focus on in this lesson, and it's a bit less obvious how to do it in the key of A. So I wanna just show you four different examples. I do have this uh, PDF available. This is three pages. I have all these things tabbed out for you. This is available uh, to members over on my Patreon page. It's lesson 408. You can get this. It's a great way to follow along with this lesson. It shows you a bunch of ways to do these, and these are just fun things to, to, to work on. When you're just picking up your guitar and you want something to practice, you could do a two string version. that same version but just add in some open strings which isn't that much more difficult since it's not really any more work for your left hand nice little way to add character right or you could just do the thinnest four strings only but you get that descending sound no matter what you do you also could just use regular open chords right So whether you want something straightforward, a bit more difficult, or something nice and easy and breezy and fun to play that just sort of uses fun triads and double stomps that doesn't require any sort of barring, I got some options covered for you here. I'm gonna dive in and show you, again, get the PDF over at my website, playsongnotes.com. It's the best way to search all my lessons. So let's check this one out, y'all, and uh, see what we can do with these strummy walkdowns in the key of A major. Let's go. All right, y'all, so the first of these walkdowns I want to show you is just using these regular chord shapes in the key of A major, right? We have our A major, our E major, our F sharp minor, our E major again, and then we're going to go to D before going back to E. So we're playing our E major three different times here. But the, again, the important part about this is look for those walk down notes, right? If we walk down, if we start at A and we go down in the scale, in the A major scale, we descend A to G sharp, to F sharp, to E, to D. And then in my exercise here, I'm always gonna go back up to E. So again, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D, and then back to E. Now, again, those notes in these chords, in the A, and that's our A note, and our E, we have our G sharp note, and our F sharp minor, we have our F sharp note, Go back to our E. Our E note is the fourth string, and our D, fourth string as well, open, is the D note. Now, how would we play these and capture that descending sound? That's the whole point. You could just strum the chords, and it doesn't sound bad, but it doesn't really scream walk down. So one thing I would kind of try to do is when you strum the chords, try to just pluck the, the, the bass note that I showed you, the descending scale, um, or the, the notes around the bass note. If you muffle the bass notes, it's okay. So here's an example of what I mean. Staying on D twice as long and back to E, okay? descending sound, right? And walk it up one note here to the E. And you could repeat that, right? And you could do it finger style if you want. Uh. I mean, you could play this with a pick too, right? I'm just sort of playing the thinnest four strings, basically. Uh. Now, that's one way to do it, okay? So let me show you other versions here because the context is gonna help sort of seal the deal. The second version here is using more advanced chords for the for the G sharp note. Now, these are versions I don't typically play if it's up to me and I'm playing a song. Like when I recently did the lesson on the weight by the band, 
I don't do any of these versions, though I did include them in my sheet music because I'm a bit of a, of a completionist and I wanna show you your options, right? So with this one, the idea is for the G sharp, we could do a, an A down here on the fifth string and we could do a G sharp right here on the fourth fret of the, the sixth string. That is, as opposed to what I showed you in the previous version, A to G sharp, right? This is an octave lower, A to G sharp, then our F sharp, second fret of the second str uh, sixth string and then our E, open sixth string. Now for our D, we can't go below this open sixth string, because that's the lowest note on the entire guitar. So unless we tune down to drop D tuning, which I'm not gonna do right now, we're out of notes, we can't go any lower. So what do we do? What's our lowest D on a guitar? The answer is this fourth string, open. So we're gonna jump up to that fourth string, and then for our final E, I'm gonna stay on the fourth string as well. So that would look like this, if we were to play the chords around it. So the chords would be this A, and I'm gonna sort of bar my index finger. And the reason I'm doing this is for the second chord, I'm gonna stay on the A, but I'm doing the bass note there. And this sounds really muddy, and this is why I don't like doing it. It sounds better in context, check this out. One more time. If the walk down is there, and you can hear the walk down, kind of buys you some forgiveness with that muffled note. And that was entirely muffled, but you get the idea. But again, I want to show you this for completionist's sake. I don't really play it this way. Um, check out Guitar at Work on YouTube. I love his lessons. He, and when he plays the weight, he uses this. He uses that ver version of the A over G. So you can see how he does it as well. A, A slash G sharp, F sharp minor, here's an E. Here's a D. Okay, A, A slash G sharp, F sharp minor. Here's an E, and here's a D. Okay, let's look at another way you can do it. You also could do this A, and then for this, you could use this E over G sharp. So this is going back to um, an E voicing, right? Middle finger, mute the fifth string, index finger, second fret and then ring and pinky on the fourth and fifth fret of the third and second string. Now this is a voicing that I like virtually never use, but it gets that bass note, right? So A, A uh, E over G sharp, F sharp minor, E, D, and E. Again, I'm showing you these more for completionist's sake. I don't personally like these versions, so I don't use them. But let's move on to some stuff that's a lot more beginner friendly and a lot more fun to explore and play with. So this third version, um, a bunch of two string versions here. Check this out. So if we look at some different versions of the A major, major chord, for example, this is the A that's open, right? But we also can play A if you bar um, the fifth fret and you do an E shaped bar chord, right? E major, and we just slide that up. So five, seven, seven, six, five, five. This is an A major. Now, what if we just played the, the fourth and third string? Okay, seventh fret, sixth fret on fourth and third string. Now, the next uh, version down is we're gonna slide our ring finger one fret, and then we need to do the uh, slide two frets on this third string. So this is gonna be six and four. Okay, so practice going from seven and six to six and four. Seven and six to six and four and I'm talking about the fourth and third string. Seventh fret, sixth fret, to sixth and fourth fret. Then we can go fourth and second fret. So the, the second chord and the third chord are the same shape, it's just slid down two frets. Okay, right? And then the next two shapes are gonna be from the open chords. Our E is two and one, and our D is open and two. And back to our E. So those chords. Now you could sort of do some alternating picking like this. Back to the E. Fun 
could have there. And another way you could sort of take that version and spice it up is you could add the open, uh, open string, open two strings. Right, so what I do is for the A, I actually do seven, six, five with open high E string. But then for the next uh, three chords, I'm gonna leave the, the open, the two strings open, right? The thinnest two strings open. So here's my A. And then I'm gonna do six, four, open, open. And then four, two, open, open. And then two, one, open, open. It's what I just showed you before. We're just leaving the open strings, the open two strings. And the A technically has one more finger, seven, six, five. So that's like this. And on the D, I leave the thinnest string open just for the sake of being open, right? This is a D sus two. Then our E, right? So A over G sharp, F sharp minor, E, D to E. One more time. option you can do there. Lots of fun you can have with that one. And then another version is to take, remember we had the 765 on the A? Well, we could do that, but sort of keep up the triad theme here. When I say triad, I mean we're playing three notes from uh, uh, an overall chord, right? So this is our A. Now, for our next note, this is going to be a E over G sharp triad, right? Four, six, five. Ring finger stays on the fourth string. We're just sliding up a fret and then we swap these two fingers. See how they're swapping? Right? Practice those two chords back and forth. Then after that, we're gonna go to the F sharp minor triad. This is just coming from the F sharp minor full chord, right? It's just the fourth, third, second string. And we go to our E major open and our D open back to our E. So again, that one. Now, what that begs for, if you want to do that one, is doing the four string, the four thinnest strings for all the chords. So for our A, seven, six, five, five. Okay, I'm barring the fifth fret just on the thinnest couple strings and then adding the my ring and pinky finger. Now for our next one, it's a E over G sharp. I think of this chord as a, as a D major, slid up two frets. This is an E major triad basically, but we need that G sharp bass note. Now instead of using my pinky, which I don't typically feel as strong with, I like using my ring finger. And I'm barring the fourth fret with my index. Just like on the A, you're barring your fifth fret with your index. All that's different in these first two chords is which string your middle finger is on. It's on the third string here, it's on the second string there. This finger stays on the fourth string. This finger stays barring the thinnest three strings, thinnest four strings. Right? A, E over G sharp. This is a great thing to practice, great little mini bar chord strength builder. Then you go to your F sharp minor, just play the thinnest four strings, then our E. Then it's four strings of the E major, and we play a regular D back to a regular E. So again. Now you can hear me do this again in my lesson for the weight. Check this out. I do two different versions of the walk down. One is just the general open chords, and the second version is what I just showed you. Let's hear it. Put the load right on me. Okay, so I hope this is helpful for you. Again, I just want to show you that, um, number one, these walk downs happen all the time when you're playing guitar, no matter what key you're in. Lots of times in the key of C. Right, you're walking down to F and G, right? So that happens a lot in the key of C. In the key of D, we usually have a D to a A over C sharp, to a B minor, to an A, to a G, and back to an A. 
Mm -hmm. um, and in the key of A, you can have walk downs too. So I was learning the weight recently, just to, to, to reiterate myself. I was learning the weight. There's a really distinctive walk down you hear in that song. Um, myself and other teachers teach it differently, right? You could do the A. You could do the A over G sharp version, right? But I sort of, you know, I, I kind of find myself torn between just using a regular open version, open chord version, where you sort of favor the bass notes, or doing some of these clever triads, right? Or the two string version, right? to make this lesson for you because again you learn this once you can apply it in any uh, case where you have a song in the key of a and it's a handy one to learn so again i do have the sheet music available this is a pdf actually available on my patreon page this is lesson 408 playsongnotes.com y'all that's where you want to go my website playsongnotes.com you can search by lesson number you can search by keyword by artist by decade you find a lesson page there it'll link you out to patreon it's the best way to search all my stuff so i wanted to share this one i hope this is helpful for you i do have strummy walk downs in the key of c also if you want to um see more of this in a different key but i wanted to share this one uh to help spread spread the awareness of walking down in the key of a thanks for watching thanks for watching y'all and i'll see you all in the next one again check out my lesson on the weight if you want to see this in action in a practical song sense but until the next time my friends take care and bye-bye